Having been through the process of building my own DIY display cabinet using a garage shelving unit, I wanted to discuss some of the disadvantages of building your own display case over purchasing a manufactured product like a modular case. This isn't a complaint video, but it will highlight some important factors to consider before you decide to undertake a project like this. So let's dive straight in with the list of disadvantages to building your own display cabinet. One disadvantage is that the price of materials will vary. The price one collector can build their display for may not be a price that you're able to match, particularly when it comes to items like acrylic. For my build, I was able to get this done for less than half the price of a set of four modular cases. By comparison, I was recently contacted by an Australian collector who lives on the other side of the country, and they said when they costed out this project, they could only get it down to 65% of what it would cost them to buy modular cases. There are a range of factors that could come into play to explain these price variations. It could include things like where you live, exchange rates, or the materials that you choose to use. The reality of the situation is that some collectors will be able to access products at a better price to you. This could be because they're a repeat customer of a business, or perhaps they have friends in the building and construction industry that can access materials at a wholesale price and then pass that saving on to you. The second disadvantage, which is one I hadn't considered until recently, is the resale value. A DIY display case is not going to have the same resale value as something like a modular case. It's also going to be quite time consuming for someone to move, as a lot of these garage shelving units don't use screws. So you're looking at a case that needs to be dismantled, transported and then put back together again, which is something that could put off a lot of buyers. Depending on the choices you make with your materials, you could need all kinds of tools to complete this project. And if you don't already have these tools, that's going to be a disadvantage as the cost of your build is going to increase. In my case, my build required items like a soldering iron, a jigsaw, box cutters and scissors. And some of these are items that collectors may already have, but if you don't, they're going to come at a cost. So if you don't have all the tools needed or the ability to borrow them from someone, the price of your build will increase and that's a big disadvantage. And it's not just the tools you need, but also the skills to use them. And this can be another disadvantage, not being a handy person or lacking DIY experience. A tool like a soldering iron isn't something you can just pick up and use. It takes practice to get good at it. When you're doing a project like this, you will need some DIY skills or access to someone that has them that is willing to come along and help you with the project. It's not all bad news when it comes to building your own display case, and I'm really keen to present a balanced view on what this project is like. Click the video on screen to see my list of advantages of building your own display. I've put this together to highlight the key benefits of undertaking a custom build. Be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already.